I'm Hannah, I'm a tutor at Sky Academy and we're in the topic of algebra within the year 11 standard course and we're looking at expanding algebraic expressions and this comes under MSA1. So in this video we are going to look at expanding algebraic expressions. So if we have a look at this first uh, example here which is a bracket b plus c we want to simplify this expression. By doing so, we're going to expand out. So we're going to follow these uh, two steps here to expand this expression and hence by doing so, we will be simplifying. So it says multiply the term or term outside the grouping symbol by the first time inside the grouping symbol and the second term inside the grouping symbol. So what that just means is we are going to be doing A times B. So that's the first term inside the brackets. And then we're going to do A times C, which is the second term inside the brackets. So A times B, we're just going to write as AB. And then we're going to plus A times C, which we're just going to write as AC. So if you had numbers with inside your brackets, you can actually times out and get an answer because we don't know what A or B or C is representing. We're just going to leave it as A times B and A times C or AB plus AC. If we had numbers, it could be like this and you would do it um, two times the first number inside the brackets then two times the second number inside the brackets. And so then we would get two times two, which is uh, four. So two times two, which is four, plus two times three, which is uh, six. And then we could simplify. So four plus six is going to leave us with 10. So that's how you expand algebraic expressions. The pictures down below here are very confusing with all the arrows going in different places. But essentially they're just showing you that this A goes here and the A also goes there. The B goes there and the C goes there. So you're kind of doing A times B, A times C. And so there'll be two A's and then one B and one C. If it's minus, then you just have to include the minus. So make sure you look at what symbol you're using. So in this case, we're using positive or a plus, but make sure you check to see if they're doing a minus or a positive because it could change your answer. So if you look at these uh, diagrams here and you find them too confusing, just look at this one in the corner here where you do the first number times the second number and then the first number um, times the third number. Or one, two, three. Or if they are um, actual numbers, you can times them out. Get a um, number answer and then simplify. So that's how we go at doing some examples. So here we have been asked to expand five bracket two y minus three brackets. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the first number times the second number and then the first number times the third number. So five times two y, well we can do the number part. So it'll be five times two, 10 and we're just going to leave the y associated to it. So 10y, and then we're going to do our minus because it is a minus, so you've got to keep an eye out for what um, symbol they are using. And we can do five times negative three, which gives us negative 15. So that would be our answer for um, the first example. Now, if we have a look at the next example, we have two groups. We have this first group, which is the two times three X plus four, and then the three times X minus one. 
And so we can do the exact same thing where you times the first and then the next one, but we're going to do that twice for each group. Once for each group, twice in total. So first we'll do the first group. So two times three X, well we can times the number part and just leave the X hanging on to the numbers. So two times three is six and we're gonna leave the X associated to that. Then we have two times four, which is going to give us um, a number of eight. So that's the first group. And now we can do the second group, which is uh, three times X. So we're just going to leave that as three times X or three X. Um, and then it's three times minus one. So that's gonna leave us with negative three. And now we have a look at the symbol joining these two groups and it's a plus, so we can put a positive in there. But we can't leave our algebraic expression like this because we have like terms. And in the previous video, we looked um, at how to add or subtract, well, not the previous video, but a couple of previous videos, we looked at how to add or subtract like terms. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So we have a 6x and a 3x. So they are our like terms. And then we have a 8 and a negative 3. And they will be our like terms. So first we'll add the red like terms, which is 6x plus 3x. Which is going to leave us with 9x. And now we'll do the pink. So it's 8 minus 3, which is going to leave us with 5. So now if we put those, the red and the pink together, we have 9x plus 5. So remember always, once you've expanded out your algebraic expression, always simplify if possible. We can't do anything further here because we don't know what number x is representing. If we knew what number x was representing, we could um, sub it in and then times it out but we don't know, so we just gotta leave it as 9x plus five. So remember, when you're expanding algebraic expressions, just do the first number times the second, so a times b, and then the first number times the third.